If you've been struggling to find a home due to low inventory in Las Vegas that checks off all the boxes for you, look no further. In this video, I will be sharing with you a brand new community that is bringing 561 single family homes waiting to be built with upgrades and beautiful views of the valley. Let's start by five things you need to know about this brand new community, Ascension. Starting with number one, location. Located south of the 215 Beltway Town Center Drive exit and west of the Tropicana, Ascension is a brand new community that will be spanning 261 acres. Ascension is in a prime location between the Summit Club north of you and Mesa Ridge south of you. Both Mesa Ridge and the Summit Club are very, very prestigious and luxurious community, both gated with a lot of multi-million dollar homes. Summit Club in particular is the most exclusive community in Summerlin. You are just minutes away from world-class dining and shopping. Here are some attractions just minutes away, including the Uncommons, where my office, Las Vegas Sotheby's International Realty is located. You're also minutes away from downtown Summerlin, the Red Rock Casino, as well as the brand new Stations Casino called Durango Casino that will be opening next month in November. Here are some recreational and entertainment destinations close by. Red Rock National Conservation Area, the Las Vegas Strip, Lee Canyon Ski Resort, Angel Park Golf Club, TPC Summerlin, Bears Best Las Vegas, Vegas Golden Knights, Las Vegas Aces, Las Vegas Raiders. If you ask me how many minutes it takes from Ascension to the Strip, I would give you an estimate between 15 to 20 minutes. And if you ask me how many minutes does it take to get to the Harry Reid International Airport, I would say between 20 to 25 minutes. So location is fantastic because you're only minutes away from the 215 Town Center Drive entrance, and you could just go directly on the 215 to the airport and 215 and the 15 freeway to the Strip. Number two, two builders offering three communities each you could find two home builders in Ascension. It's Toll Brothers and Pulte Homes. Each of the builders are offering three communities. Two communities are single-story floor plans up to 4,000 square feet in size, and one community offering a two-story floor plan up to 5,000 square feet in size. Now that's a big floor plan, you guys. It's really, really nice to have such an offering for new construction homes at that level because if you were to ask me, Kaori, where can you find new construction homes that has floor plans over 4,000 and 5,000 square feet in town? We are very limited. So I'm really excited to share with you Ascension for those of you that are seeking larger floor plans for single-story floor plans up to 4,000 square foot and for a two-story floor plan up to 5,000 square foot in South Summerlin. Number three, price point. I have a lot of my buyers asking me, Kaori, what would be my all-in price point if I were to buy an Ascension? And the estimate that I've been giving all my buyers is ranging from $1.5 million all the way to $3 million. And I'll be going over each of these floor plans and what you could expect as far as base price goes. What you have to remember is that it's not just the base price that you're purchasing when you're purchasing a new construction home. On top of the base price, we have lot premium, we have structural upgrades, we have design upgrades, and don't forget that all the appliances do not come with the home unless you obviously purchase an appliance package through the design center. You're responsible to purchase the refrigerator, washer, and dryer. You also need to purchase light fixtures as well as window coverings, and that would be done after closing unless you wanted to purchase it through the design center. And lastly, your backyard. When you purchase a new construction home, your backyard comes unfinished. It comes as a dirt lot. So you need to be mindful of putting a budget aside for your landscaping, pool spa, barbecue, fireplace, whatever your dream backyard looks like, consider that into your budget when purchasing a new construction home. Number four, guard gated. A lot of my buyers that are relocating here would be very specific and one of their requirements would be if a community is guard gated or not. So I'm really excited to share with you that this Ascension community will be guard gated 24 seven. You'll have a dedicated line for visitors and a dedicated line for residents. So let's talk about that. A lot of people ask me, so what is the thing about guard gated versus a gated community? What's the difference? When you have a guard gated community, you have a dedicated guard that will be there to check in all of the guests on a 24 seven basis. They will ask for your ID, they will take a picture of your license plate number, and they will also call the homeowner to make sure that they are expecting you. 
If you're a resident of a guard gated community, you will go through a dedicated VIP residence line and usually you have a fob or a scanning mechanism that basically scans you in so you don't have to wait in any line. For a lot of my buyers relocating here, it's a requirement to have a guard gated community because of its privacy and security. Instead of a regular gate, the guard gate provides that additional level of security and privacy. Don't you think? Comment below if you require a guard gated community when you're considering relocating here to Las Vegas. Number five, community amenities. I am so excited to share with you the following community amenities you could find here at the guard gated community of Ascension. Starting with outdoor pools, pickleball courts, fitness center, social lounges, fitness studio, fire pits, EV charging stations, walking trails, and clubhouse. For an electric vehicle owner, I really like that they offer an EV charging station as part of the community amenity. This is something new. I've never actually seen a guard gated community that offers this additional community amenity. So what do you guys think? If you own a EV car, wouldn't you want to have a EV charging station as part of your community amenities? Before we dive into the communities and the floor plans offered, let's talk about the builders you could find here at Ascension. Toll Brothers and Pulte Homes. Both are well known for their expertise in crafting exceptional homes and creating stunning communities. With their combined efforts, we can expect nothing short of perfection in this new South Summerlin development. One of the remarkable aspects of this community is architecture. Toll Brothers and Pulte Homes have collaborated to design homes that blend modern designs with the classic charm of Las Vegas. From sleek lines to contemporary finishes, the homes in this community are a testament to their commitment to excellence. So now, let me walk you through the digital brochure of Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers offer three communities, Crestline, Ridgeline, and High Rock. Crestline is a two-story floor plan community. There are three floor plans spanning from 4783 square feet to 4998 square feet, and the base price is starting at $1.7 million. Ridgeline is a single-story community. They also offer three floor plans, ranging from 3415 to 3615 square feet, and the base price is starting at $1.4 million. Then we have High Rock, which is another single-story community, offering three floor plans, spanning 3623 to 3940 square feet, with a base price starting at $1.6 million. Please note that there are two HOAs, that you could expect in Ascension. One is for the South Summerlin HOA, the master plan community, which is at $57 per month. And then the Ascension community is now estimated to be $255 per month. Now the great news, you guys, is that there is no SIDS or LIDS that will be added on top. SID is a tax that is added in particular for new construction homes when the city needs to build infrastructure such as new streets, new lights, parks, and additional community amenities. It's a great thing that for Ascension, there's no additional SIDS added on top. So take a look at this map together. You can see where each of these uh, communities are located in reference to the community center, which is here at the top in the center. And I do want to mention the location of the guard gate and the entrance. So you'll have an idea of where the cars will pass through and enter into to this community. So first of all, this is Town Center. This is Tropicana. And as you go down Town Center, you're gonna be going west on this street here, which is called Rolling Foothills Drive. And then the guard gate is gonna be here on Rock Line Parkway, right over here. As you go through the guard gate, the first community on your right is Ridgeline. This is a single story community. As you keep going up Ridgeline Parkway, the next community to your right along Town Center Drive will be your two-story community called Crestline. And then adjacent to the community center to the west on Desert Heights Avenue is a single story, the largest single story floor plan called High Rock. So let's start with Crestline. I know what you guys are thinking. You're all excited to hear what the lot premium is, right? Because I shared with you what the base price is. Now what about the lot premium? Let's take a look. So for Crestline, the first phase, there's gonna be six quick move-in homes, eight to be built home sites, and the home site premium, which is the lot premium, is gonna range from $85,000 to $650,000. Now that is a pretty wide spread. So let's talk about what you could expect in that $650,000 lot premium. When you have a high lot premium, 
that tells you that it's in a very desirable location within the community. Maybe it's on a corner lot. Maybe it is a cul-de-sac. Maybe you have beautiful views. Maybe you're on an elevated lot. Those are the things that you could expect when you are paying a premium, especially a $650,000 lot premium. Now, both builders are not gonna guarantee views, so it's really up to you to have a buyer's agent like myself that would actually take you and walk you through the lot to make sure what kind of views and things that you could see around from the front of your home as well as from your backyard to make sure that you're picking out the best lot in that particular community. Now moving on to Ridgeline. For the Ridgeline first phase, there's gonna be six quick move-in homes, 19 to be built homes, and home site premium range or the lot premium ranging from 15,000 to 425,000. Again, the $425,000 lot premium is gonna be the most desirable lot within that particular community. Moving on to High Rock. First phase, all to be built home sites, no quick move-ins. There's gonna be 19 of these to be built homes and home site premium range is gonna to be ranging from $35,000 all the way to a million and eighty thousand dollars. Wow, this is even a bigger more spread. $35,000 all the way to over a million dollars in lot premium. Now I'm going to walk you through the floor plan of the largest floor plan that you could find in the single story collection as well as the two story collection. I'll be walking you through the Sky Edge floor plan which is the largest in the single story collection. You can find this floor plan in the High Rock collection and here are the specs. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms spanning over 39, 40 square feet, one half bath, three car garage and again it's a one story product. So starting with the entrance, you have your gate here, you've got your porch here, you've got your front door entrance, you come into the foyer, and to your right side, you have your flex room, and then you have your bedroom number two, and an ensuite bath, walk-in closet. Now, adjacent to the flex room, you have a walk-in linen, and as you go inside to the house, to your right, you have a covered patio. This is a nice, generously sized 22 by 21 covered patio. As you walk inside here, you have a very big great room. Ceiling height is 14 foot. And then casual dining right over here, north of that. And then you have a very large kitchen space spanning 24 and a half to 22 in dimension. You have this island with a low bar top. I really like that. You have a butler's pantry area, as well as a huge walk-in pantry right here. You have an additional covered patio right outside of your kitchen. And to the left of your home, you have your three-car garage, and then you have an entrance to the laundry room. And you guys, let me know what you think. I really love that you have an access from your garage to the laundry room, because if you're coming home from a vacation, that's where you just wanna drop off your suitcase and all of your dirty laundry, don't you think? And then you go in through here, down the hallway to bedroom number three. You have your own dedicated bathroom and walk-in closet. You have bedroom number four, also a dedicated walk-in closet and a bathroom. And then on the north side, right up here, you have your primary bedroom suite, a primary bath with a shower and then a tub. And over here you have your walk-in closet spanning almost 18 foot by seven foot. In each of the floor plan on their website, you could actually go down here and it says, see personalization options. So let me click on that and you're taken to this website here where you could actually modify the floor plan with all these optional upgrades and these are all structural upgrades that you could get a loan for that will roll into your financing. So just to give you some examples, on the first floor, let's say I wanted a alternate kitchen island design. So let's see the difference here. The standard comes with a high and then a low bar top. And when you click on this, you can see that it's a different style, a different design of the kitchen um, island countertop. It's a much bigger and a wider um, low bar top. So you can make these adjustments. Another adjustment is the multi-slide uh, stack door, 16 by eight in the great room. So as you can see, instead of the three sliders, if you wanted to actually open it up and stack it so that you have a very nice indoor outdoor experience, you could do that as one of your optional upgrades. So you could really play around with the floor plan and really get an idea of what kind of optional upgrades you want to do and customize to make it your dream home. Now let's move on to the floor plan for the largest two-story floor plan. 
which is called Suncrest in the Crestline collection, and here are the specs. Five bedroom, five bath, spanning almost 5,000 square feet in size, one half bath, and three car garage. So let's take a look at this floor plan. Starting with the first floor. So you have a gate, a porch, and you have a entrance here to a two-story foyer. The ceiling height here is almost 23 feet high. Wow, that's gonna definitely give you a grand entrance as you walk into this two-story home. On the right side, you have a bedroom too with a closet and a bathroom a powder room and a closet. And as you walk in, you have a staircase going up to the second floor. Over here, you have a dining room, a casual dining room, and a kitchen. Optional storefront glass over here to the right side, covered patio. On the left side of the home, you have your three-car garage, entrance here to the house, walk-in pantry, a workspace. This is very interesting. It's a built-in workspace here, drop zone, and then into the kitchen space. Now let's go to the second floor. So as you come up the staircase, this is all open area to the great room below. You have a loft area here, covered balcony adjacent to bedroom four with its own bath and walk-in closet. You've got bedroom three here, also own bathroom and a walk-in closet. And they have your laundry room here, AV closet. And this is the entrance to your primary bedroom with a covered deck, primary bathroom, dual sinks, shower, tub, and look at this massive walk-in closet, you guys. It's almost by 14 foot in size. And then in addition, you have a primary retreat, 20 by 13 over here. Now let's look at the optional options so you can take a look at what all these optional upgrades and they're all structural upgrades that you can make to this particular floor plan. On the first floor, you could add this linear 48 inch Lanai outdoor living fireplace. That's really nice in the outdoor patio, so you could really enjoy the indoor and outdoor space. Right here, adjacent to the staircase, you're able to add this wet bar with a mini fridge. If you like to entertain, it's really nice to have this bar option. And on the second level, this is a really, really nice upgrade, the additional entry to the laundry room from your primary closet. You guys, I've been seeing a lot of these custom homes and all these custom homes, the laundry room is usually right by the garage as well as you have a separate entrance from your primary closet to the laundry room space. And I think that's a really nice upgrade because you know you don't wanna be carrying your laundry from your primary closet all the way through the home to the laundry room. Wouldn't it be nice to have an access door directly to the laundry room? Comment below if you would like to have that upgrade in your dream home. So buyers, if you're you're ready to make a move on these collections at Toll Brothers by Ascension, here is what we need to do collectively to make it happen. First, we have to book a pre-sale appointment process. So the pre-sale appointment process looks like this. Client registers for the interest list. Client receives a pre-sale email with home buying questionnaire link. Client submits and completes the HBQ. Fully completed HQBs will be reviewed. Appointments will be offered as they become available. Sales will reach out to prep client for their appointment. An agent must accompany and register each client on their first visit. Clients should be prepared to complete an agreement of sale and provide necessary deposits. So the last time I heard from my sales contact at Ascension, there were over 1,800 people on the interest list. Now, I'm not telling you that everybody on that list is really interested and ready to make a move on this particular community, but there's a lot of interest and popularity with this particular community. So currently, my salespeople are going through the interest list and having all of these clients and buyers go through this pre-sale appointment process. So now let's talk about what you could expect in the home buying questionnaire. All fields of the home buyer questionnaire need to be completed in full. Most importantly, the employment section needs to include a full two-year work history, real estate owned, asset information. And then the HBQ is also required for cash buyers. So let's go through this list. These are the information that is collected on the HBQ. Property information, buyer information, buyer employment and income information, buyer real estate owned, buyer assets, buyer credit and liabilities, co-buyer information, co-buyer employment and income information, co-buyer real estate owned, co-buyer assets, co-buyer credits and liabilities, and additional buyer's information. And now moving on to what client can expect at their appointment. Please plan for a minimum of two hours for your appointment. We will review available home sites, plans, included features, and opportunities to personalize home. Upon selecting preferred home site and plan, the sales consultant will prepare an agreement of sale and collect deposits. Clients' future design and milestone meeting appointments will be coordinated by the sales consultant. 
Here are the deposits due at the time of the purchase agreement. These are the deposits to be liquid and available. 5% of the base price of the selected plan, 20% of the home site premium, 20% of the chosen structural options. Deposits can be paid via personal or cashier's check. Future deposits for selected design options will be required upon finalizing at the design studio. So you guys, in order to move forward with a Toll Brothers Ascension community and floor plan, you need to be very, very much prepared and you need to also have these budget and deposits ready to go. It's very important for you to take time to go over all the details with your buyer's agent like myself so that you are gonna be set up for success when we go to that appointment with the Toll Brothers sales consultant. So if you're interested, reach out to me and I could get you on the interest list and get you a link for the HBQ. By the way, if we haven't met yet, konnichiwa, my name is Kaori Nagao, your global real estate advisor helping you find your new home. Whether it's a new construction home or a resale home, anywhere in the world, I'll be more than happy to help you with your home buying journey. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you engage with me and let's keep going. So now moving on to Pulte, let's talk about the three communities that they're gonna offer and I'll be featuring a few of their floor plans so we can walk through them together. So starting with Incline at Ascension, this is the first community on the left-hand side of the guard gate. This Incline will start from the low 1 million and that's just the base price. There are four single-story home floor plans ranging from 2297 to 2875 square feet. Then moving on to the point at Ascension, the base price starting in the mid one millions. So the point offers four single story luxury home designs and they range from 3475 square feet all the way to 4006 square feet. Fun fact, I have several buyers looking at this particular community because they love to be in the largest single story floor plan. Now, what I found out over the weekend, in this particular model, Kingsgate, that spans over 3966 in square foot, based on the position and the square footage of the lot, you're able to actually build a detached casita in your backyard. Now, for a lot of my buyers, that's a big plus because then they could use it as an office or a, you know, a in-law suite if you're living with additional family members. Having a detached casita is a big, big plus for a lot of my buyers. So I just wanna make a note and share with you that you could actually do that for this particular community and this particular floor plan called Kingsgate. Now moving on to Cape Rock. Cape Rock is gonna start in the mid one millions and this is a two-story floor plan community offering three floor plans ranging from 3981 square feet all the way to 4530 square feet. I just wanna make a comment because a lot of people are looking for the biggest two-story floor plan Pulte goes all the way up to 4530 square feet. However, uh, Toll Brothers is gonna offer the biggest floor plan, which is close to 5,000 square feet when it comes to the two-story floor plan. Let me walk you through the largest single-story floor plan and the largest two-story floor plan by Pulte. So the largest single-story floor plan in the point at Ascension by Pulte is the luminary floor plan spanning 4,006 square feet. So let's go through the floor plan together. So first of all, you have an access to the courtyard, then to the porch and the foyer. You come in, you have this very large gathering room, dining room, and they call this a Nevada room, a covered loggia space here. You also have a flex space over here to the right side. And then on the left side of the home is the owner's suite. So you can see how big the owner's suite is over here. You've got your bathroom, split dual sinks, a tub in the middle, shower system here, and a huge walk-in closet. You have two car garage here on this side, and then you've got a one car garage on the right-hand side of the home. On the right side, you have bedroom number two and bedroom number three side by side with a Jack and Jill bathroom. You're gonna share that here. And bedroom number four has its own bathroom. You have a hallway to the laundry room, and then over here you have a linen closet and look how big this kitchen is. You've got a kitchen, a nice island. And you, have, you also in the back have a prep kitchen area as well as a walk-in pantry. Now it's time for pop quiz. I wanna make sure you've been paying attention to my video. What community amenities can you find at Ascension? A, guard gate. B, outdoor pools. C, EV charging station. And D, all of the above. 
The first person to comment correctly will get a shout out on my next YouTube shorts. Now let's do a walkthrough of the floor plan of the largest two-story floor plan that you could find in Cape Rock, which is called Vitoria. This Vitoria floor plan spans over 4,530 square feet. So starting with the first floor, you've got a porch here, a foyer entrance here. To the left, you have a den and you go all the way inside to the gathering room, a covered loggia, they call it a cafe here, a kitchen, butler's pantry, walk-in pantry, this is a very nice large size, formal dining room, you've got one car garage to the right side of the home, and on the left-hand side of your home, you have your two-car garage, you have bedroom number five with its own bathroom and walk-in closet. So on the second floor, you've got stairs coming up here, you've got a big loft here, you've got a mirror door over here, on the left-hand side is the entire owner's suite. So you have your owner's suite, your retreat, you've got your bathroom, separate dual sinks with a tub, a shower system, and a very large walk-in closet. Bedroom number two is right here. This is a space open to below. Bedroom number three with its own bathroom, walk-in closet, laundry room in between, and then the bedroom number four with its own walk-in closet and bathroom. What I love about this particular floor plan, you guys, is that bedroom number five could be considered as a multi-gen uh, suite. So if you're living with other family members, obviously if they're, you know, your in-laws, they're older than you, obviously they would like to be downstairs and they could actually have a livable bedroom over here with its own bathroom and their walk-in closet. So now, if you're interested in purchasing any of these Pulti homes, let's talk about the pre-sale process. As a VIP, you will have a first opportunity to schedule an informal appointment with a sales consultant prior to pre-sale. VIP one-on-one -on -one informal appointments would include 30 to 60 minutes appointment, review home designs, elevation, home sites, and structural options, reserve top three home sites. In order to participate in the first home site release, you must reserve a home site. To reserve a home site, you will need to bring a personal check or cashier's check of $20,000. Pre-sale offers will begin on October 14th through the easy offer process. Easy offer process opens October 14th and will close October 16th. Easy offer process results no later than Wednesday, October 18th, and you must reserve a home site to participate in the easy offer process. So let's talk about what an easy process offer is. This is, with the heightened level of interest, the easy offer process is a fair way to ensure that interested buyers have an equal opportunity to submit an offer on one or more home sites after securing a reservation. Pulte will assess each offer and accept the highest and best offer per opportunity as determined by Pulte in its sole discretion. It's simple, here's how it works. Provide your contact information on the easy offer website provided by your community sales consultant. Select your floor plan, home site preferences, estimated option amount, and offer details. Review your selection and submit your request. Receive an email confirmation that your offer has been submitted. Once the easy offer process is closed, offers are reviewed and you will hear from a sales consultant within 48 hours to discuss next steps or future opportunities. So basically, it's a blind bidding process for the highest and best when it comes to lot premium. So let me give you an example. None of my buyers went through this easy offer process this past weekend, but if you're interested, you'll basically have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with myself and the sales consultant over at Pulte to determine which floor plan and community site that you're interested in. They will share with you the lot premium, and based on that lot premium, you will then bid the highest and best. So let me give you an example. If a particular lot that you're interested in is $50,000 in lot premium, you and your family members will discuss internally how much more you're willing to pay above the $50,000 and submit a blind bid. So let's say that number is $60,000, or maybe you're really interested in the law and you're willing to go up to $75,000, or maybe even $85,000. Whatever that number is, you'll go through that easy bid process, and if you are the highest bidder, then you will have the first right of refusal to go through the reservation process. Now I know you're itching to find out what the lot premiums are for each of these communities, so let me give you some examples. So for the incline community, lot premiums are starting at $25,000, and the highest I see right now is at $40,000. So compared to Toll Brothers, it's a much smaller lot premium premium that's added on top of the base price. Now moving on to the Cape Rock community, their lot premiums are ranging from $30,000 to $50,000. And lastly, the Point, the largest single-story floor plan, 
Uh, that is ranging from $65,000 all the way to $95,000. And the $95,000 floor plan is for that King's Gate plan that I mentioned to you where you could actually build a detached casita. Now I know this video has been pretty lengthy with a lot of information, so take your time and definitely go through it. I only covered the largest floor plans for you, but if you're interested in seeing the smallest and the medium floor plans that you could find in each of these communities, definitely reach out to me. My contact details are in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you and share with you the digital brochure link. For more videos about new construction homes, and if you're considering to relocate to Las Vegas or Henderson, make Make sure you check out one of my videos surrounding me. Don't forget to hit that bell and make sure you smash that subscribe button so you're made aware of my weekly content. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you watching. I hope these videos are educational for you and I can't wait to see you on the next one.